Good day, everybody. Natalie, Nathan, Andrew, oh, Lydia, and Mason, and all of you, Bella, and Chloe, and Blake, if you're listening. This is what we're doing today. Come look with me, Enjoying Art with Children by Gladys S. Blizzard. We have been studying this for a little while, and we are going to look at it again today. Let's see which ones we have done. The table of contents shows us one, two, three, four, five of them that we have done. This is number six right here. Jonathan Eastman Johnson, the old stagecoach, page 18. So that's where we're going to go right here. This is the picture that we are going to be looking at. Jonathan Eastman Johnson, he painted the old stagecoach in 1871. It's an oil painting on canvas. It is in the Milwaukee Layton Art Collection, and it was given to them by a Frederick Layton. So this particular picture was painted by this man right here. There you go. His name, Jonathan Eastman Johnson. He did lots of paintings showing how country people would dress and work and play in America a hundred years ago. And so as we look at this picture real close here, we're going to look and see. The children in the painting are playing on an abandoned stagecoach. You see what they're playing on right there? It's an abandoned stagecoach, the kind that used to be pulled by horses. A horse-drawn vehicle that was once carried people from town to town. By 1871, when this scene was painted, railroads were already starting to replace stagecoaches for longer trips. The children here Pretend that the coach is moving, even though there are no wheels. Some of them believe there are horses. See that? Got a little bit of glare there. Some of them believe that they are horses right there. And some of them are passengers. See, I'm sitting inside there. And then we have some stagecoach drivers up there. I think these folks here are passengers right there. And there is some books on the ground down here. And so it's making us think that uh, it's a warm afternoon. And that gives us some clues. The children may have stopped at the stagecoach on their way home from school. So let's just ask a few questions about this picture. Let me see if I can turn it in such a way that there is no more glare. There we go. Do you think the children are having a good time? What do you think? What makes you think so? All right, there it comes. Let me show what I think. I think this little boy right here with his hat going in the air makes us think they're having a good time. And they that are jumping all over the place right there, sure, and he's saying, come on, girls, and they're running over here. I think that's all indications that they're having a good time. If the painting suddenly came alive, what sounds would you hear? What do you think? I hear him saying, whoop, whoop, whoop. How about you? Who or what would be making the sounds? Of course, the children would be making lots of sounds. And can you make those sounds? I did one. You do some for me. If you and your friends pretend that you are traveling, what would you play on? So draw a picture of that. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to draw a picture of something that you would probably use today to draw to travel on. Okay, and so let's move that book out of the way and let's put this here in place. All right, so we're going to draw a car and we're going to use circle. All right, you see the circle? Everybody can draw a circle. Sure, you can. And we're going to draw straight lines. Just like that and then we're going to draw curved lines so in in each of these cars that I have going on here there are these different lines all right I've already done some but I'll draw over top of it so that you can see once where we're going if you want to be really really simple this one might be easier that because it's all straight lines but if you can manage the curves how about if we do one of these? I like this right here. But let's draw, do one of these here. First of all, when you're drawing a car, 
simply, you might want to start with two circles. Now, mine are going to look a little wonky because I'm drawing on top of other drawing picture, other lines, but that's okay. Now they're darker and you can see them. So after you draw those lines, go ahead and draw the lines for the hubcaps. That's what those inside circles are, they're hubcaps. See over here we have the tire is black and the hubcap is gray. Then what we're going to do is we're going to connect those two. They almost look like glasses now, don't they? They look like glasses, sure. And we're going to do the bumper. Now, if I'm going too fast, just stop it, pause it, and then come back. We have the front bumper, and then we have the back bumper. The difference between the bumpers and this line in the middle is that they're sort of like a U. I go out, turn around, and come back in. Same with the back, out, turn around, and come back in. And so they have some space in the middle, which gives it the idea of a bumper. Now we're going to make some curved lines. All right, I'm going to start in the back of the car and do a curved line here. My curved line starts right about this middle of the tire, but I gave it a little bit of space up there. Pretty much the same space as is here. I'm going to do another one. Pretty much the same thing. The top down to here. We're going to do those same curved lines up above it, and now we're, but we're going to stop at where we started before. So now we have the back of the car, the front of the car, and we have the top where the passengers and drivers are going to sit. We need windows. Yes, we do. So we're going to do a window here. And notice I did a curved line that follows the same uh, roof of the back. And then we did a 90 degree angle or a two straight lines right there. So let's do two straight lines and go in the opposite direction and then another 90, uh, another curved line. We're going to finish up by doing a door handle and another oval over here for a light. So that's our car right there and that's how we would travel today. I really like the bug right here, the Volkswagen bug. I'm going to just draw one real fast for you over here. A circle and another circle and connect the lines. Do the hubcaps, which are two more circles inside. Go ahead and do the back bumper and the front bumper, just like that. We're going to do the front, um, which is actually in the trunk of a VW. And then we're going to go around and come all the way down. All right, the difference between that one and this one is it comes all the way down instead of having a trunk. And the VWs have their engines in the back, if you didn't know that. So now we're going to do two windows, the driver and the back seat, just like that. Do a doorknob and a light in the front, and we got ourselves another VW. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me see what you've done. All right, take care. See you next time.